Hey there, so today we have another review and this is a beer courtesy of Stone, so thank you so much. They just sent this one in today. This is Stone 22nd Anniversary Annie Matter Double IPA and really interesting, they are shouting out to their roots. So this they actually say it on there, the No Haze Double IPA. This is a 9.1% and actually how this got produced was that some of the brewers, um, they do a competition there, uh, here and there and Jason and Jose, uh, two of the brewers there, actually homebrewed this and then it won the competition. And then I guess now it is the 22nd anniversary for um, Stone. So really exciting. Uh, this beer is hopped with Columbus Denali, Hopsteiner 06297, Galaxy Citra Amarillo. Uh, let's dig into this one. So beer comes in a deep gold color, a little bit of copper hue on there, um, off white head. Let's get the room. I'm getting some of the booze, a little bit of floral, classic West Coast kind of uh, breadiness, like bread crust, caramel. Not getting too much on the nose. Um, I don't know if there might have been a issue with sending it over here. I will say that uh, when this got dropped off at UPS and I took it out of the box, this was hot. I mean. It's summer here in New York, and imagine putting a Poland Spring bottle and leaving it in your car and then coming coming back to it. This was a warm, warm, warm bottle. Well, I have it chilled down, obviously, but um, yeah, I don't know if that affected the quality of this beer. This beer is quite fresh, only a month in. So let's dig into it. Cheers. Mm, quite nice. So on the aromatics, they actually say um, plum, apricot, melon, lime, biscuit. That I got, the herbal notes maybe. Uh, touch of earth along bright flowers and berries. The complexities of the fruitiness and everything they were talking about, uh, I didn't quite get. That's for the flavor. Mm, nice. So you get this kind of like light, light kind of pine resin thing, classic uh, bitterness up front. It is balanced out by a little bit more of that light uh, biscuit and uh, sweet malt, classic uh, West Coast style IPA malt character. But those beers, some of them can tend to overwhelm the palate and get a little bit too sticky and sugary sweet. This one's nice. It, ha it uh, dances a fine line. The bitterness comes up front and lingers all the way. It goes onto a dry finish onto the back end. And it is a substantial bitterness, but it's not one that completely wrecks the palate. So I really think this beer stands up with how you can finally uh, dial in bitterness for a 9.1% West Coast style double IPA. As for the flavors, again, it is a little bit pine, a little bit of resin. Um, really not too much fruitiness to really talk about. Uh, they talk about full body. They talk about with a short, uh, sorry, they talk about solid malt back, uh, backbone fits in well with a complex array of hop fruit flavors, fresh cherries, apricot, grape skin, melon, and citrus. I get maybe a little bit of grapefruit, but I'm completely lost on those other fruity notes. Yeah, it's just well-balanced, malt and bitterness west coast style, style double ipa but for me i really would have liked to find uh those uh, fruit characteristics and hot flavors that they're looking for still i think it's very well made beer uh, on the palate is where this beer shines it's completely uh, great tasting notes here full bodied short clean dry finish with some warming notes and slight viscous sweetness i'd say the sweetness is actually a little bit more uh, uh, dialed in than they really think um, i will say that the warming notes are sort of there uh, the short, clean, dry finish is definitely there. And then the bitterness is really where this beer really um, sells itself and does a great job with playing well with the malts and then still being properly bitter as West Coast. No haze, a double IPA. And the full body is there as well. Just, yeah. Again, I don't know what it was with, you know, sending it here warm and everything and, you know, issues with UPS and it being hot in the, during the summer. But this is an extremely well-made beer um, as for rating. These are the kind of beers I'm itching for. I just really wish it expressed itself a little bit more hot flavor that I was uh, hoping for. But it's still, as for remaining, absolutely delicious. This beer for me is getting an 88 Stone 22nd Annie Matter Anniversary Beer, double IPA. Shout out to Jose and Jason for creating the recipe for this one. Shout out to Stone for uh, sending this one out. Thank you guys so much. Until next time, cheers. Later.